In this problem, we're going to integrate this. So to do this, we're going to start by factoring the denominator and attempting to use partial fractions. So let's go ahead and rewrite it over here as x plus 42. And you'll notice that in the denominator, we can pull out an x. So this is x, parentheses, and then x minus 12, parentheses. Because we have uh, distinct linear factors, we can use the cover-up method. So let's go ahead and take that approach. So it's a linear factor, so it's a over x. And then another linear factor, so it's b over x minus 12. So the cover-up method says to find a, what you do is you look at what's under your a. So in this case, it's x. And then you ask yourself, what can you plug in to make this 0? So in this case, 0. So when you come over here and you cover it up, and you plug in 0 everywhere else. So 0 plus 42, and then 0 minus 12. So this looks like it's going to be a fraction. So this will be reduced to 42 over negative 12. And let's see, 7 times 6 is 42. So 6 goes into uh, 42 7 times. So this will be negative 7 over 2. So A is equal to negative 7 halves. That's our A. All right, to find B, as before, we look to see what is under the B. And we ask ourselves, what can we plug in that will make this piece 0? So x equals 12. So then you come over here, and you cover it up, and you plug in a 12 everywhere else. So 12 plus 42 over 12. So this is going to be 54 over 12. So let's see, 6 times 9 is 54, so this will be 9. 6 times 2 is 12, this will be 2. So 6 goes into, uh, into 54 9 times. 6 goes into 12 2 times. So b is equal to 9 over 2. So all of this is equal to. So a is negative 7 halves. So we typically put it in the front like this. Negative 7 halves, 1 over x. And b is 9 halves, so plus 9 halves times 1 over x minus 12. Good stuff. So now we just simply integrate this. So this is equal to negative 7 halves, the integral of 1 over x, dx. Right, because we rewrote all of this, and we basically got this. So now we just integrate each piece. Plus 9 halves, integral 1 over x minus 12, dx. The first one is really easy. It just becomes a natural log of absolute value of x. That's the formula. The next one is 9 halves. Same thing. You can let u equal x minus 12, but then du is just dx, so nothing really is lost by skipping the work here. Then you have a plus and a c. And that would be the final answer. I went through that kind of quickly, but I hope it's been helpful in some way. Good luck and take care.